So this is a pretty much completely unscripted um, tutorial on how to actually navigate rate your music. So this website seems a little intimidating. You know, you go to the charts, you go to the all time, and you're like, okay, I've maybe heard of these. And you're like, huh? You know, uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Well, I'm going to kind of show you how to navigate around. So first of all, yeah, you go to the charts to see the top albums. This is these, these are the top albums of 2024. Um, I've not really listened to any of, the, any of these, to be honest. Um, you can go here to specify a specific year or decade, like I can go top albums in the 1950s. It's all jazz. Well, no, there's a classical album, but for the most part, it's all jazz. Actually, how far back can you go? Right to the 1890s. I don't think there's going to be an album from 1890, though. Yeah, the album format wasn't a thing. I guess I'd have to go. You can click all here to select every kind of thing ever. Oh, that's... Okay. So, you can go to lists to see user lists, which a lot of these are very, very specific, especially in the features uh, section. Go to the popular lists, and then, um, you just see popular lists, and I don't really know what else to say. 20 ways to be a better radio music user. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, don't do any of this. Um, say you go to a release, like, I don't know, let's go to Soundtracks for the Blind. If you do not have a subscription, sometimes pages will be sponsored. Sometimes the sponsor hides themselves. That's fine, but yeah, sometimes you'll get these track ratings, which I guess is a helpful guide. If you don't listen to albums in order immediately, genre tags, descriptor tags, you can add your own tags like I wouldn't advise doing that, but you really could. Um, now, reading music has a really bad reputation, but the actual website itself generally is fine. The community, again, generally is fine until you look at the comment section. They get so much worse than just, I see them all oiled up. So yeah. Um, you will also see suggestions. Now, if you want recommendations based on what you've already rated, you click here, and then you just click recommendations. Not only does it give you a list of things that it recommends, but it gives you your most rated years, your best, or your uh, most rated genres, or your, well it's not most rated, it's based on affinity. Same with descriptors. Um, so yeah, you can see what kind of person I am there. Uh, so there's all sorts of stuff in my recommended. You know, uh, Chico Oba, Foo Fighters, Depeche Mode, Quadeca. So yeah, there are also forums which generally aren't that bad. They're nowhere near as bad as the comment sections. Um, like this is mostly just, hey, I, I have a question about, yeah, progressive pop songs and K-pop. What's the most overplayed song? Some of these threads are extremely old, by the way. So uh, yeah. You have music and film collection it just shows everything you've rated in order uh, there's a messaging feature there's a recommendation feature as well um, you'll get notifications when anyone that you follow does anything so you'll see your mutual followers um, 
You won't show it on your own profile, but you have uh, recommendations, messages, compare your collection, block users, if you feel like it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to radio music. There's a uh, favorite artist section you can add, which I didn't really bother adding, to be honest. That's fine. Uh, yeah. My curve's kind of weird, but there's way worse. Um, I think one more thing to know is if you immediately start rating, you will not have any uh, waiting on anything. So if there are two ratings on an album and it has a three, you give it a five, um, it's not going to go up at all for uh, about, well, it depends. There's a 60 day cycle when accounts get approved for waiting. And once you have vote waiting, you can actually like make things go up or down. Uh, however, sometimes rate your music just doesn't give you vote waiting for a really long time, like way longer than 60 days. I'm not sure why. Um, and yeah, on the immediate homepage, instead of where album of the year gives you a bunch of critic stuff like critic website like Sputnik Music or Pitchfork or whatever you get user reviews which is nice and you get a new releases section as well which is also pretty nice and then I some something, something like that I don't know. Uh, you can just scroll down and see all the reviews and they're just more and more featured ones see so yeah, that's basically all that there is to read music.